How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. This is the Wallabot DIY 2. The core technology actually borrows from medical imaging devices. It uses radar technology to see inside your walls. Let me show you the unboxing and show you what's included. Instructions, the main sensor unit, and then we have the USB-C charge cable. That's it in this box. This is the carrying case fits exactly right here. Put the charge cable and even the instructions all fits nicely in here. There's also this phone attachment. One side is to attach to a phone that does not have MagSafe. This other side attaches to the Wallabot. This product needs the entire surface to function properly. So it's gonna be about the size of your phone. And the bulge conveniently avoids your camera bulge on your phone. By itself, it's not magnetic. Peel off the sticker. Make sure it's aligned and press it onto there, just like that. Because I have a MagSafe compatible phone case, I do not need this ring. It will just attach directly on just like that, plugging it in to charge. When it finishes charging, this amber LED will turn off. It takes about four hours to fully charge the battery. On a full charge, the Wallabot has a working time of about five to six hours. So you can definitely use it the entire work day. I have a Wallabot DIY 2 here, select that one. Start Wi-Fi setup. Hold the power button for two seconds to turn on the blue light. Continue, scan the QR code on the back of the Wallabot, join the Wi-Fi, it's pairing to it, allow the connection. Some warning about taking care of your battery, don't go to extreme temperatures. Do not leave it charging continuously. Calibrate on each new wall. The back has two strips of slippery plastic so you can slide it over the surface. The flat side is the business end of this product. So you place that onto the wall. The device actually requires a recalibration every time you switch walls. It's fairly quick, just click next step. Start calibration. Move it in a circular motion. Calibration complete. Start to scan. I don't actually have to have the phone attached onto this device. Move it left and right. Right here, I got a stud right here. The image mode just kind of assumes the studs are vertical, so it actually won't do a 45 degree angle. If we go to expert mode, start drywall scan, it kind of gives you like a heat map here. I have a piece of drywall here with some of the things that the Wallabot can detect. A metal ruler to simulate a metal stud that's mounted directly onto the drywall. Usually a drywall is attached directly to the metal. A two by four that's screwed on directly and also a piece of wire that's offset by about a quarter inch with foam. Typically wires are attached to the studs and it may hang in free air for a little bit. I added a little bit of curvature to this wire to see if the Wallabot can detect this. This device can see all of those things, including rotary rodents that's in your wall. There are some confusions in the reviews. It says it uses Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi means that you use your phone's Wi-Fi to connect to this device. This does not need an internet connection. Let me demonstrate the accuracy of this thing. Start calibration, place it flat on the surface, click next, start calibration, and then you push this around in a circle. Make sure to cover everything that it might see for it to learn. There we go, we're done. Image mode, start scan. I have a metal ruler right there and it does detect it. Note that this little notch right here is the center of the ruler. If I make sure this little notch on this image is right at the center, it seems fairly accurate for the metal ruler to within about an eighth of an inch. If I move it kind of quickly around, it's around maybe four frames a second. And if we get a little bit too close to the edge, yeah, it still works. I have these lines that indicate the exact location of the stud behind it. If I put this over here and kind of move it over, we see that the stud is roughly where it says it is. And if I move that indicator on the screen to the center, look at that. It's indicating the stud right in the center. Let me see how far it can be off right there. And then on the right side, you can see as I move it left and right. Okay, right there. It thinks it's a center. So it's very accurate in terms of finding the exact center. Let's try it again a little further down, almost even 1 16th of an inch. Now we can trace the wire that's going downwards like this. 
can also change to expert mode. This is the imagery it gets from the RF sensors. It's just one big blob and it thinks that's a stud now. Let's see what's the difference with a metal stud. The blob looks roughly the same, but apparently the algorithms know what the differences are. Let's see if we can tell the difference. It seems like the center is redder to me compared to this one. The wiring just makes it not very round. It kind of skews the blob a little bit. And then also if you have like an animal behind it, it says it's a pipe or a wire. I have attached a wire in a way that's representative of how it's installed in the home. Typically it would be wired somewhere near the center of the stud. And I have a little bit of offset added in here because it would normally be in a conduit. If I slide the wallabot towards the wire, it will see the wire first. And then if I keep on going, it sees the stud. If we slide it from the stud side first, we'll see the stud. And then we might see the wire right about here. It might blip right there and then it'll disappear. So let's go to expert mode and see what's going on here. If I go over the wire and just kind of go over both items right here, it's almost like two different things. There's a little blip right here for the wire. It kind of grows as I move towards the right and then disappears. If we're at a spot where we can barely see something, we can increase the intensity right there. We can see two distinct spots, one cloud that represents the wire and this other big cloud that represents the stud. After you understand what the quirks are on this thing, you can really get very accurate with the stud, with the metal stud and even the wires. If you guys are interested in one of these, check out my affiliate link down in the video description below. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time.